So if you're going on the trek for the first time, I would definitely research your ancestors and see if you did have any that did go across the plains with the pioneers. I think it means more when you've read their personal accounts and you reach those landmarks and you have something to think about. They give you a lot of time to think. Um, I would say to research some of your ancestors before or just some pioneers in general. Just to Physically, I think um, they recommended us to get a good pair of shoes to walk in and wear them for a couple or a few weeks before the trek so you can kind of break into them because you won't want to wear a new pair of shoes when you, when you start. And I brought granola bars, so I thought that was really helpful. So I don't know if that was helpful for other people, but it was for me. Bring your gold bond. Uh, the advice that I would give is to invest in a big hat. You know, I, I chose the sombrero. I mean, you could do whatever, whatever you feel, but a big hat covers everything. Uh, the advice I'd give them is to wear good shoes. Uh, my foot was coming out of the shoe I was wearing. It's falling apart, and it's a lot of walking. And to really appreciate it, I think having the best equipment that you can, taking it with you so you can really enjoy the experience. Drink lots of water because you get very dehydrated, so be sure to bring a water bottle. I guess what surprised me the most on the trek was the sense of unity and that everyone helped each other out. No one got left behind. It wasn't as hard as I thought it might be and I, I really, I look back on it and it was one of the funnest things I did. Also, they are really, I mean, the food's good and it's a lot of fun. I think it's a lot of fun. But there was some times when it was kind of challenging. So I would say like, to not be, say it's like some huge like amazing like spa place because it's not but it is a little bit challenging so just to keep that in mind. But I was surprised to find out that it really wasn't that hard. We all decided that we were gonna go square dancing and so I showed up late and my partner I looked across and it was Sister Hawks. <laughs> it was you know it wasn't it wasn't terrible but it definitely surprised me. Uh, what surprised me is how far we actually ended up walking and how hard it was to actually walk that far. Not only were you reading your scriptures, you were writing your journals, and looking back, I had learned a lot that, that uh, week on the trek that I'd written about and over the years have forgotten, so it's nice to go back and reread that personal revelation that I got. But one of the ones that I remember the most is we were walking for just a little while and then we all kind of went off into our own area or we were all together, I can't remember exactly. But we just had to sit there and ponder, um, think about ancestors that you had or just think about your time on the trek. And that was a really spiritual experience just to have it quiet and really peaceful. Um, one of the days that we were there, um, we broke off into groups and uh, a leader talked about the female pioneers to um, the women who were on the trek. And I just remember her telling stories about um, the women, how strong they were in the faith that they had, and you know the example that they are to, you know, to us now, and how strong they were, and how we can be strong today too. Uh, just while walking, just thinking of the ancestors I had who had walked the same trails, and they'd really sacrificed so that I could be here today, be a member of the church. I really appreciate that, and it was a really spiritual experience. Um, it was just really cool because like um, we got to choose like a name of one of our ancestors that had either died on the plains or like came over with them and it was just really cool to learn about that ancestor and to like put yourself in their shoes and how hard it would have been for them and it just made it seem so much realer for me. Um, it made me a lot more humble, it made me more appreciative and that you don't really understand what the pioneers went through because how could you? You haven't gone through it. But after a week on the trek, you have a taste of it. So it just makes you a lot more appreciative for what the pioneers went through. And Overall, um, I think back and I think of all the friends I made. They, Everyone in my family was in my ward, but I didn't know everyone quite as well as I, I did before we went on the trek. But now um, I consider them good friends and I had a really good time. Uh, you know, just getting to know your family uh, was really important. I think that we, you know, built long-lasting relationships with our siblings, our ma and pa. Uh, it was just a lot of fun to get together, you know, beforehand preparing for the trek and then being on the trek uh, together was really great. 
I appreciated modern day conveniences a lot more and for like all the um, great things that we have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I learned a lot of patience um, dealing with a certain amount of people. <laughs> well, something that I really took away from it was that preparation is key. This isn't something that you want to just kind of rush and put together the day before, but you know, take time a couple weeks in advance and get all your stuff together, make sure you have everything so that you're not wanting out there. The greatest takeaway I had from the trek is that I wouldn't have been a very good pioneer. I only would have made it a, a day or two and then I probably would have quit because it was hard, it was tough, but it was definitely rewarding and fun and I enjoyed it. Uh, it just made me so much like thankful for the pioneers and all that they did for us. It made me really like feel blessed for like electricity and all the things that we have and technology and it just made me so much thankful for the things I have. On the trek or right now? No, I'm on the trek. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you never have too much chapstick. <laughs>